My name we got 87 blowfish. Oh, never mind. I don't know what happened to our shadow. <laughs> I am the shadow, the true the self. True self. Also, I realized that 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 the that the head doesn't actually turn with it. <laughs> Banjo, how's your head doing this? <laughs> I'm actually part owl. Kaka, <laughs> kaka. That's not the kind of sound an owl makes, doofus. Whoop 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 whoop. How does that work? Because you touched the enemy, so it did damage. But it's frozen. To you. But you touched the enemy. I also didn't take any damage. But you touched the enemy. <gasps> the enemy. The enemy. <laughs> why is that even enemy. funny? Enemy. I don't enemy. know why that's funny. <laughs> because it is. <laughs> it's weak against the boofoo skills. <laughs> Why is this even funny? I don't understand. Anyway, in the electric eel's lair is, I believe, the power-up that I've been forgetting to grab. Dragon lights and bird lights are going through the water like a torpedo. Large deck to scare and aim for speed. Axe to get some its banjo you need. Now we all this mist, and this finally unlocks all of the Kazooie gates that we've been seeing throughout the game. Zap. I believe that's all that's in here. You touch the enemy. <gasps> the enemy. <laughs> anyway, to start with. Also go into first person because it's a lot easier to see in first person. To at least navigate Kazooie in the first person. Where did the fish go? One, two, zero. By the way, don't worry about about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it takes five feathers every time you do this. And if you go right through the translucent fish, do you get you get you get you get whatever they're holding? Huh. And also all the other also all these kazooie gates we've been seeing. Bash into it! The ancient swimming bath. Kazooie been around, there's an ancient gate with her face on it. I was prophesied long ago. Well, actually in, 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 I believe in Grunty's Revenge, we actually find out that the Breagles are like this superior race. <laughs> I know it. So when do they, so when do they have, when do they, like, infuse... Breagle DNA and uh, someone else to make them a uh, super to make them a super a super agile uh, bounty hunter <laughs> and then all die <laughs> and then they all die because that's how it seems to work anyway Don't guess show what? So. oh look a page a page you can't get For all your almighty prophesied ancient power, Breagle, you can't make it. Well, the Breagle can yeah. make it later, just not now. And <laughs> dead thing. You still have not realized your you true have power. To your true power. So you might be wondering, how does the water work if we're in areas where the sun doesn't shine? That's a good question. The game doesn't want you to ask those questions. Don't ask those questions. Uh, I, guess just, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out why the. Water in this area would 
with you know, this power. This, this whole thing could have made way more sense if they were just like, hey, I uh, did a magic thing on Banjo and Kazooie that made it so they could breathe underwater. But it only lasts while they're in this world. Yeah, but that's stupid. Then how would it work if the, you didn't? If you didn't what? How would it work only in this world? That because doesn't make any was, sense. Because the spell has limited range or That something. doesn't make any sense. And it's way more sense than the sun! <laughs> He's using the sun! But I'm drained. Sun, lend me your energy! All right, now I can breathe in the water! What? <laughs> That'll help you beat Superman! I think I just randomly caught the stuff. I think I just randomly keep quoting the bat the the Superman versus Goku death battle. How is this work? <laughs> Sure, I'll oh, just throw it in. Right? Wasn't it already in the water? Which was in the which is what How is this not mixing and ruining the entire ecosystem? Uh because the 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 one the pool know, weighs a lot more than the one the pool probably weighs a lot more. So it just sinks to the bottom. At least I, I think that would work. Yeah, why don't we just use the summary in the whole time? Because that would make sense. I guess that we can use a lot of you gotta use your new, you gotta use your new uh, ability to shoot underwater for something. Indeed. Indeed. We wouldn't have that extremely fun mini game of protecting the pig from angry fish. You're right because we wouldn't be able to enter the area or anything. <laughs> but but the the. the but players love resource management, and we wanted there to be a resource management aspect to it. Anyway, special thing about Jolly Roger's Lagoon, this is the only time in the game where you can fight a boss two different ways. Where you can either have it as Banjo-Kazooie using the grenade eggs, or just use the, use the submarine. Does the submarine make it way easier? Yep. Davy Jones Locker. Hey Banjo, I said see a jiggy down there. Let's take a look. It's in a book. A it's Lord Who Fock Fock. <laughs> what? Who dares intrude on Lord Who Fock Fock while he sleeps in his appalling cramped locker? Oh, er, we've just brought some mail for you, Lord Fock. <laughs> Don't lie to me. You are going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flat pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Nothing like that. Then a watery grave awaits you. Six. Okay, so fish versus submarine. Who win? Who, who will win? So what you have to do for Lord Wu Fock Fock, by the way, screw you rare for naming him that, which got me in trouble at school multiple times. Aye, me precious boils. So you have to, one at a time the boils will flash, so you have to swim around and figure out which boil is flashing. You know, you... You, you uh, could have maybe uh, just been like the, the, one, the angler like fish the boss. <laughs> yeah, but that's not his name. It's Lord Wu Fock Fock. <laughs> if you say the angler fish boss, then people will know what you're talking about, probably. Angler fish boss, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Uh, 
a lot is there's only one anglerfish boss in this game. What if it's about, what if they're thinking of different games? Well then, just say, the anglerfish boss in Banjo-Tooie! What's his name? I'll write it out for you. Uh, yeah, that can't be his name, that's way too vulgar, you're grounded. <laughs> what, F-A-K? Pretend you don't know how to pronounce it right, and you say "mufak fak." That still doesn't help. <laughs> I mean, at a certain point, you anyway. He finally like opened. Just Ooh, to get your have you no sympathy, hitting a poor blind fish? Time I open my eyes to see what I'm doing. Please, not my eyes. This just seems cruel. I'm gonna be honest here. Okay, he's counter attacking, and then he no. died. says things seem to have gone belly up. One hundred years of oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end. I mean, if you're such a if you're such a tyrant, how come you're just locked up in this tiny area? Kind of seems like well, you're uh, being a bit of a tyrant. He's not as important as he thinks he is. Uh... Oi! Stop that, you scumbags! I know your father! Oh, you do? Can you tell me where he is? I've been looking Cease for- Cease firing! I used to be a hero, didn't you know? Oi, stop that, you scumbags! Can you... Can you tell me who my father is? I never knew him! His name is Klungo. Oh, God! Some things were not meant to be known. I never knew Klungo was a breathal. Klungo is the prophesied hero. Yes, he, uh, Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points and I might give you a prize. Oh, no, because it's the same as usual. Get, yeah, I guess. Blue, green, red. Yep. How did you know? Did you play this game before? Uh... Oh, we sort of played this minigame before because I've watched other minigames be played before. That's what you mean? I played this game before? Nope. Okay, I fought that one boss and did really badly. <laughs> because I didn't tell you how to switch eggs. So, yeah, uh. By the way, we won. <laughs> you already won? I thought the point to the requirement was higher than that. No, it was 50. 50. Oh, it was like 60, but even if we had 60, we would have won already, so... Damn, I should have left that at 69. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have. No. Don't do it! Rats! You luckily scored enough points to win my prize! Luckily, she says. So she doesn't really have. Shorty, do you really have to give these out? That's what I was saying. No, I'm good. 
Like, gee, like, like she could just not show up to these challenges and these jiggies would be impossible to get. Yep. <laughs> Where's the fun of winning without any challenge? You know I'm wanting the pad. Why do I need to be more precise? I hate that about this. Anyway, that's actually pretty much it for the submarine. It's really only used for that one minigame unless you want to use it for the boss. Because I guess you're not allowed to use it to protect, to protect, uh, to protect, protect Mr. Pig even though there's no reason you shouldn't be allowed to. Excuse me, he has a name. His name's Bacon. Get it right! We're just like I'm having bacon! Pig. No, his name was... <laughs> was Crispy Bacon. Call me Mr. Pig! Mr. Crispy Pig! Mmm, <laughs> bacon. Now we know all the fish was tr were trying to bite him so much. Well, yes, that is the joke. Good job, Nathan. Tomato sausage. Hey, what? Uh, like, By the way, we've only done half the half this area. So wait, we found crispy bacon, but where where are tomatoes and sausage? What? How else are we going to how else are we going to make breakfast for Mr. Frodo? And they make him mad because we baited all of the Nazgul to attack us at Weathertop. What about steak and breakfast? <laughs> I don't think he knows about second breakfast, but... <laughs> Still one of my favorite crossover names is... Breakfast exists. Pippin. There is another... <laughs> 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 I think of the think of the, think of the one Lord of the Rings text adventure game where you could eat an infinite number of lunches until eventually you die from pure gluttony. <laughs> Brilliant. Impossible. My lord, is that legal? I'm good at the game, silly! But oh. you know I'm wanting the thing, so why won't you just give me the menu? Thou must touch the pad. Or if it, if you just make it so there's nothing there at all, just being like... Just is that how it is then? Annoyed. I don't like but it. But it's not that hard to just touch the pad. Just touch the pad, silly! Fire the kazooie! Fire the regal. 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 Water supply pipe. Oh, we Disney's frozen it. Yeah, we let it go. They can't hold us back anymore. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 should, we should let about these fans hold you back. And we finally got the brown ginger from Glitter Gulch Mine. Which I think means that Glitter Gulch Mine's gingos are finished. Yep. All that's left is the one jiggy left that we need a power up for still. By the way, don't be like me on my first playthrough who didn't realize this chain existed. Remy swim. I'm not gonna question how you could freeze those. Because he hit it with an ice attack. It's why like they always these, say. Why do you ask these dumb questions, Nathan? It's like my Uncle Ben always used to say. 
A black man. <laughs> what was hey, that? Is that like foreshadowing for Miles head. Morales? <laughs> <laughs> That's my Uncle Ben always used to tell me. Black okay, man. Be black. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm Great probably count. not bothering with it's grabbing the Cheeto pages here until we can also, actually it'll be finish a black it. Version of you one day. Probably not grabbing all the Cheeto pages till we can actually grab them all here. <laughs> that way I remember which one I need to grab still. Right, let's see which one I'm forgetting. Okay, still need to actually head up to get head up Jollies and grab that one. <laughs> Oh yeah, the other page is actually still in Pono's Emporium. That's the first one, and then I think the other two aren't. It, you can't get one of them, and then the other one's in a fish. So yeah, we're not able to grab two of the Jiggies here. But we still definitely have more to do, right? Yep. Yep, we well. Okay, cool. Do we have do we have only two jiggies left? No. Well, then we still have stuff to do. All right. Just trying to figure out where the other jiggies are. Alright, there's free jiggies we can't get here, so actually we're almost done here. Where's the, where's the final honeycomb piece, though? Honeycomb piece, where are you? I'll figure it out later, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. eventually we'll figure out what we're doing. Anyway, the fastest way to actually get done here is to head back to the town center. Which you can't bring the submarine up here for obvious reasons. I don't, I don't know what you mean. Because it's you're on me. land. And... Thanks for rescuing my partner. Ain't nothing of it. Why are we looking across? No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Perhaps later. Then please accept this modest little trinket instead. Oh, but I wanted my beer! Banjo! We can't drink on the job, Kazooie! Why not? Thanks for rescuing me from the foul infested innards of that ferocious sea monster. Actually, it wasn't just a very large. it was just a very large fish. It seemed like a monster to me. Thanks again, and remember, it's Grab a Sailor Night in here every Wednesday. I think we'll need a. Uh, we'll give it a mess. It's very popular when the balloon gets you five tankers of Siemens Brew. Something tells me that most of these innuendos are going over these two's heads. <laughs> just, just, just don't, don't ask about the secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is love. <laughs> Mm. The, the not so wholesome kind of love, I imagine. Mm. 
That way, see what's this way. Yes, blow, bomb it. Destroy the fan. I'm sure, I'll have no negative well, nice, implications. But, uh, they won't yeah, they won't lag you. See, you can't blow up the Otherwise, Banjo and Kazooie probably would. Of course, I would. Why would I bother? Why would I be? Why would I miss the opportunity to blow something up? Who do you think I am? No, I'm not Jinjo. That thing's Jinjo. Shut up, Jinjo. I'm not Jinjo. Jinjo. Shut up. So technically, that's actually the the first Jinjo of a later level of the game. A level that I'm not going to speak the name of at the moment. Because I don't want to remember that level exists. If you know, you know. Also, the name just popped up on screen anyway. Yes, that level's name is Water Supply Pipe. <laughs> oh, my favorite level, Water Supply Pipe. I love Water Supply Pipe. I mean, who doesn't? Water Supply Pipe. Falling through the sky. <laughs> Supplying water for the entire town. Shoot it down. Why would you do that? Now everyone will now everyone will get dehydrated. And die. And die. Yay! And now you're a mouse murderer. It's all your fault that everyone's dead. Yay! Why are you happy about this? Yay! You're a horrible person, you should go to jail. Yay! Possible ending. I'm sure I would still be here next year. It would still be five doubloons. <laughs> it's only going to use these doubloons for anything else, right? You think he would back up from the register considering what happened last time and happened again? <laughs> I'm curious. I almost want to ask cashiers at work whether they ever do that by accident. I don't think it actually pops out very really aggressively, though. It doesn't! Anyways, swim down one last time. For right now, at least, because we got wait. <laughs> we still have free jiggies left here. <laughs> After this, but this place, this place, this place. With the power of Kazooie, you can unlock the UFO. What's the UFO? I thought it was bad snack, Dave. I read that as inside TH colon UFO. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Well, real aliens! Are any of you called Elvis? No, we're Alf, Betty, and Gammo. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess. You need a phone home? No, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. Uh, it's not like we can shoot eggs of solid ice. Shoot it with, shoot it with the bomb. Why didn't it work? Power up the other crystals quickly. Oh man, we have a time limit. I don't know if we can do it in time. Only ten seconds left. 
Oh man, we Thank did. you, Earthling Bear and Bird. Now please exit our ship as we need to leave. We are late for dinner. Or any chance of reward? We landed on a shiny thing. You may have that. Now go. We, we can't actually bring you into space. Please exit our please. ship. We are late for dinner. By the way, the Elvis thing is a nod to Perfect Dark, which which Rare also created. Oh, I see that. Now it makes more sense. By the way, that's the only time you're able to visit the UFO. Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. Did we also mention that we left the door open? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. They're not gonna fall out at any point. 38. And I believe except for the for the one page that we can't get and the other jiggies we can't get, I think we are done with Jolly Roger Lagoon. Uh, yeah, that we are! Also a honeycomb piece, but I don't remember where that is, and we we have to head back here anyway. And it's not it's Jolly like Roger Lagoon, it's Jolly game. Roger's Lagoon. Get it right? I thought you had played this game since you were a kid. Why don't you know this? Which is why I s still get confused with Jolly Roger Bay and Jolly Roger's Lagoon mixed up. <laughs> Come on. I mean, honestly, I kind of prefer Jolly Roger Bay, but, uh, that's just me. Yeah, what are we doing with that world? Not that bad of a water level, honestly. Eh, not so bad. Well, this is the part where it's starting to become very apparent how much of these levels we can't, we're not going to be able to complete on the first go. Mm-hmm. Also, we, with the Kazooie power, we're actually able to do a lot now. We're actually able to finish a lot of things, actually. Back in Spiral Mountain. A black man! A black man was very underwater all this time. There were two black men underwater, and black ones underwater, actually, because the other one was strapped in the pirate area. In the pirate ship. This is a common theme, that's what I'm still getting at, what I'm finding. And since we finished the level, let's bring, let's open go open up the next one. Gonna be one of these. You got plenty of time as long as you're just going for it. Yeah. Though again, if you fail it too many times, it'll just give you infinite time to do it. Have you ever, have you ever had that happen before? Uh, my first playthrough. Behold the power of the mighty Wiggly Dicky. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, we haven't explored the hub world yet. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that challenge yet. <laughs> I'd be thankful if I'd never had to do that challenge. <laughs> And in Glitter Gulch Mine, we can also grab something else here. Uh, I mean, it's not the last Jiggy, right? Nope. Also, because this is faster to do anyway. This is because this is faster. Oh, that, that's already opened. Never mind, I don't even have to press the button. Because Grunty's a good person and kept it open for us. Grunty's a good person, that's why she murdered a bunch of people at the start of the game. And no one misses them anyway. Do any of you even remember their names? Bottles? Besides Bottles? Uh, bottles? Yeah, but do you remember his name? Uh, does he have a name? Yeah, Dingling, right? <laughs> anyway. Out there is an area that we can't get to yet. But in here... It's the Kingdom Key of Darkness! Oh, the Kingdom Key of Ice. And what's inside? The Mega Globo. Wow, you caught the legendary Mega Globo! It's supposed to have really special magical powers! So, so I do. Well, remember that one, that the one Humba Wumba out, out in the hub world who was asking for a Mega Globo? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, there's a secret, there's a special transformation for, gra for, for grabbing the Mega Globo. And this is really the biggest, the biggest, the the most fun part of the entirety of Stop and Swap is getting this final transformation and wondering what it is until you finally get it. Even though what it is isn't that special, but it's still something. Because we head back to that Humba Wumba. That's Clifftop, that's not where Humba Wumba is. Get it in there, Banjo. Back to Pine Grove. Sure, I'll just throw it in. And here's the last the big reveal. But what's well, changed? There's no way no big heap drag, but many bodies. Now I'm thinking to raise something new. Oh no! He's off, off on one again. Well, oh gee, it's most challenges. What? First a dragon and now this? That must be for nuts and bolts. 
Which is why no one will care about it. See so, yep, it? Kazooie's now a dragon. Easier. Also, one other thing that, that, that many people don't notice. Oh, you put in fire eggs. Yep. Hmm. Is that it? Deeper voice. Yep. Yep, a bit no. de deeper of a voice. And also it's permanent as long as you want it. You just like jump back in if you want to go back. Yep. Anyway, one final Kazooie rock to break. Why well, don't look like that anymore? Close enough. We can finally follow the path of the digger tunnel. Of the digger. It's your boy, Claw. Oh, no, not you again. <laughs> if you say Klongo must stop you, I get more beatings. We'll give you a beating, too. Oh, Klongo win this time. I snow potion to try. And again, this is a, a random one of free that he can use throughout the game. I find clever Klongo. Klongo battle number two. Yeah, this is one of the easier ones. <laughs> because he takes so long to actually move. Yeah, well, he's and then he's dead! It can't be good for your health, Klongo. Why not retire? No! Mr. Sneeds me! Klongo will return for more beatings. I'll work on the potion. You win a beating! I like this one! Ah, poor guy. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, that's a bad, mean thing to say about your husband. Children egg for you to hold a clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. You'll barely ever use it. That'll be all. Dismissed. There's a number of ways you can actually break the game with these things if you try hard enough. Wow, this is like the one time where they're actually both the same. So well, let's try out this okay. new clockwork well. kazooie then. We have the next stick to move the ball around and detonated by pressing X. Well, that was an easy choice on which one was which. Now we're in Wasteland. Well, wait a second. Now that now that Kazooie is a dragon, does she now know how to hatch reptiles? No. Why not? Because only birds know how to do that. Dragons lay eggs too! 
Only birds know how to sit on eggs. Why is it because we already know? And I never pay attention at school. Do you think I went to school in the first place? Dwagon. So, uh, I understand the digger being able to do to do some stuff. How? <laughs> Physics. <laughs> You're using the sun. Anyway, because we don't have that power up, we aren't able to progress on on the trail of the digger. Once again, our our <laughs> progress is stopped. I'm pretty sure that was Red Feathers I picked up game, but okay. Anyway, here's our sneak peek at the next at the next area. Pterodactyl Land. This is when the levels start getting really, really big. How big? There's more up there. Give, and also there's the level over there, level on that that way, level up that way, and everywhere in between and inside. Let's see. I think that face says it all. <laughs> Help! <laughs> So, yep, this area is gigantic. That's why we're not doing it. as big as the area is, but it is pretty big. Yeah, we're not doing it yet. Next time on Banjo-Tooie, we begin in the fifth world of the game, Pterodactyl Land. Let's just say the worlds aren't going to get any better from here. We've seen the best of this game has to offer. Sadly, yeah, this got, game is very easily You can only go downhill from here. Yep. <sighs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it. I think Dragon. this is actually pretty. This is still a pretty good coming up. Meh. It's just too big. <laughs> it's, just, it's like Ritalin. Too big. I, well, Which I is why it took him so like long to get into Smash. Back. You know, I still can't believe that they put Joker and Smash before Batman. Yeah, I know. It's so weird. I can't believe they put Ego Raptor in Smash. Sam's Ego Raptor. Long still looks like his nose is riddling. Let's end the episode, shall we? Now.